I bought this suspicious Nintendo Switch from Wish.com for $280, and in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at it and see if it was worth the money. So the weird thing about this listing is all it says is it has the Mario red and blue console here. It doesn't tell me exactly what comes with it, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, tons of paper. Oh, and it is in the box. Nice. Now, if this is actually complete unboxed and in good condition, 280 is kind of low for this uh, specific console, um, but at first glance, not in great condition. The box is pretty beat up. Uh, hopefully, that's not indicative of what's inside. Oh, I've never seen the back of this. That's a pretty cool design there. And yeah, just pretty standard stuff here. Now, here on the side, we have grade A fully functional. Uh, from my experience, that means nothing on Wish because I've bought stuff that says grade C and was in great condition, and then grade A was bad condition. So uh, we're about to find out. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what's actually inside of here. And wow, there it is. Okay, so we have, I think these are supposed to be blue Joy-Cons. No, no, I'm, I'm wrong. All right, so it's supposed to be a blue Joy-Con holder, but here is the uh, Switch. Now, I don't know if this is, uh, well, they said it was used. I don't know if it's been refurbished or not because they didn't specify. Again, another non-specified thing. I think this has actually been uh, somewhat modified because this is not typical. Uh, unless they replace the screen, they usually would not have like this uh, this wrapping on top of the screen. So we'll, we'll open this up later and see what's inside of it. Uh, but that's a little bit suspicious there. And then of course we have our Joy-Cons here. Hopefully they don't have any drift, but at first glance they feel good, look good. Let's go ahead and take off this top piece here, see what's inside. And we actually, wow, it actually included the carrying case as well. That is good to see. Pretty cool carrying case. This one's in nice condition. If we open it up, we've got a couple little slots for games. Um, nothing too crazy, but it is a, a nice looking uh, case there. And now taking out, out the next piece, we have our blue Joy-Con straps there. Those are the original ones and still in the little uh, packaging there, which is good to see. We've got our blue Joy-Con holder, which appears to be in really nice condition. Wow, not expecting it to be in nice condition coming from Wish. And then over here, we've got our HDMI cable, which honestly looks like it's never been used. Like I'm pretty sure that's the zip tie they use on the original Switch. And we also have our power cord, which almost appears to be unused as well. Has this console ever been turned on? And then we have our uh, dock here, which I'm pretty sure by default, the dock comes in this same little uh, bubble wrap right here. And then the uh, this uh, wrapping here. Wow, that's, that dock is in really nice condition as well. I am surprised so far, but everything pulled out so far. It does appear that we got all the accessories that are supposed to come with it. And so far, everything looks really good. The only thing that's really suspicious is the fact that this uh, switch has the screen right there. It looks like it's been replaced. Not sure, but we'll... We'll of course open the switch up later and, and take a look at that. Now actually I just noticed there were no manuals or anything included, which I think by default a switch does come with a manual, but it looks like this person in lieu of a manual included this little QR code. So it's it's not quite complete, which I guess makes sense why it's 280 instead of like 300, 320. Uh, Cause I think this console complete in box with everything in it would be about 320 in this kind of condition um, if it does work, but um, missing the manuals 280, that I think that makes sense. But let's go ahead and do the true test of turning this console on, seeing if it works. And let's go ahead and take this wrapping off right here. Hopefully I do not break the console because this stuff is on here tight. What in the world? I feel like I'm going to pull up on the screen and break it. All right, got that junk off and the screen looks perfect. So my guess is they did replace the screen. Not sure why, like everything else else on the console is in such good condition. I don't even know why they would need to replace the screen. Seems like a, an odd issue. Let's go ahead and try to turn it on and see if it powers up. There it is. Cool. All right. So it is on. I didn't hear a boot up sound, which is kind of odd. Let's go ahead and put the joy cons in. Oh, there we go. All right. I can hear some, some sound now. Joy cons are in. There we go. So we are booted into the main screen so far. So good. Joy cons work well. Now let's go ahead and slide them back into place. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the color scheme. I really like red, but I think like red on red on red kind of clashes, even though it is the same color red. It's just like, it's almost like too much red. Like uh, I think it looks really good when you put these red Joy-Cons inside of the uh, the blue Joy-Con holder. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Like, I think that looks pretty cool. Obviously that looks just like Mario with his blue and red uh, accents. Let's go ahead and put it back in the console. All right, so first thing I wanna do is go to the settings and we're gonna go ahead and make sure our screen brightness can adjust without problem, cool. Gonna go down and I'll go ahead and turn this on dark mode because people in the comments last time got really mad at me for not turning on dark mode, even though I think it looks better with white on video. Actually, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it on white because it looks better on video. We're gonna go down to the controllers and sensors and make sure these controllers are properly working. All right, so of course we want to check and make sure there's no no stick drift here. We look good so far. Very nice response. 
and I don't see any drift here. So we'll go ahead and go back to test out this one as well. That one seems to be good. So that's good. Obviously, that is one of the biggest issues with, with uh, Nintendo Switch joysticks. But let's go ahead and test out all the buttons as well. So the controls are all good. Next thing we want to do is test out a game, obviously. So we got this game right here. Let's go ahead and plug it in and make sure it works. So I just wanted to remind you guys that I will be doing a PS5 giveaway on Whatnot soon. So let me go ahead and show you how you can enter. So first thing you want to do is hit the link down below. It'll take you to this page where you click claim your credit and sign up and you'll get $15 of Whatnot credit. Now, once you've done that, you'll open up the app, go down to the middle, hit the search button, go to the top, type in Jacob Barr. You'll see my profile, click on that, click see all shows, and you'll see all my shows here. Go ahead and bookmark all of them. So you can go ahead and click on any of the live streams, go to the bottom right hand corner where it says store, then go to buy now, and you'll see these gift cards right here that you can use your credit on. And if you also come back to my shows page and click on PS5 giveaway, that's when I'll be giving away the PS5. So all I gotta do is be present in the stream, make sure your address and everything is verified, and you'll be eligible to win. Unfortunately, we do not have any free games here. Sometimes when you buy consoles online, they'll accidentally leave a disc or a, or a cartridge in the console and you get a free game. Not too often, but it does happen sometimes. So we're playing some Dragoons Dugama, a dark ruser. I think I pronounced that right. So the weird thing with the screen, and it's kind of a result of the uh, the weird screen film being on there, is it makes it super staticky. So so the screen had like a couple of fingerprints and some, some stuff on it. So I was trying to wipe it off of my shirt, which usually does fine with a screen like this, but it just attracts more like fibers and dust now because of the uh, the static um, to the screen. So that's a <laughs> little weird. I can probably get rid of that just by, you know, washing it off a little bit. Not not physically washing it off with water, but like a, an actual microfiber cloth. All right, playing some Dragon's Katma. Coming up on the dragon here. I think it's just freaking massive. Every time I see it, it's huge. Been using this game a lot as testing recently. Um, never played it before, but uh, I just need some arrows, right? I can sh shoot this dude. Oh, well, there I go. Oh, uh, did I live? Nope, I did not. <laughs> All right, well, clearly this game is working. Actually, I did not try out the screenshot button. That's working, too. Um, the next thing we're going to do is test out our network and make sure we can download some stuff to make sure it connects to the Internet. All right, so connected to the Internet, uh, the download and upload speeds are absolutely awful, though. 8.8 .8 down and 6.3 up. Yeah, that's not that's not ideal. I'm going to try that again because uh, I should be getting a whole lot faster than that. All right, so now we're getting 12 down and 16 up. Still just weird, slow. Honestly, I haven't tested the uh, download speeds and upload speeds on a Switch in a long time, so I can't remember if that's typical or not. It seems like a that seems like a typical Nintendo thing is to have slow download and upload speeds, but uh, we are at least connected to the internet. Now, something else that's weird about Switches is that the fact that they have they all have different screens. So uh, some screens will be really warm, some will be really cool, some will be in the middle. Now, I have my Switch Lite with me that I'm going to compare it to. This switch at first glance looks really cool, which is that kind of correlates with another switch light I had in the past that had a screen replaced that also had a really cool screen. So that kind of, uh, you know, seems to indicate to me that this has been replaced. And um, now one other thing I wanted to show you real quick, which I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I have this Game Boy that's a uh, Game Boy SP DS Lite is what I call it. And uh, as you can see, it's got a DMG Game Boy, two DS Lite screens with a, with a GBA SP hinge, and it's, it's fully functional. I just wanted to show you guys real quick because... Uh, not enough people have seen this, but this thing is pretty sweet. I'll link the video up on the screen if you want to check it out. I just thought I'd share that while my, my Switch Lite is charging. So I got my Switch Lite here because I'm interested to compare the uh, screen temperatures. And I think it's pretty clear that the uh, Switch Lite has a pretty warm screen and this one is a cool screen. So that matches up with my last video where I saw a Switch Lite with a screen replaced that had a cool screen. So I'm not sure if that's always consistent like that. I don't know if this is like an official screen replacement or like a, a knockoff or third party or whatever, um, but just something to, something to point out. Now, out of curiosity, I ran a speed test on my Switch Lite as well, and that was also super slow, but then I ran a speed test on my phone and it was like 400 down, so it's just a Switch. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why it's like that, but uh, it seems like classic Nintendo to me. But anyways, the next thing I want to do is turn this console off and open it up and kind of just take a look at the screen replacement and see what we're looking like on the inside of this console. So it's pretty basic to open this thing up. We've got two screws here on the bottom. We've got four in the back and I believe two more on the top. Actually, just one on the top. Let's take all those out and open it up. Now, the last switch that I bought from Wish was kind of weird because I opened it up and it had all these issues with the screws. It was missing like one screw. It was another screw was stripped and then the inside was dirty. Just kind of weird. So I'm kind of curious if this one's going to be similar to that. All right. All the screws are now out, I believe. All right. I missed a screw. There's one back here. So I think all the screws in the back are out now. Let's go ahead and try to open this up. All right, now all the screws are out. I forgot I gotta take the screws out of the Joy-Con rails as well. So I should be able to take the back off, hopefully. All right, so back cover off, taking a look at the uh, middle piece now and all looks good. The, the Like I said, the last switch light I had looks weird in here. It had like hair all in it, fingerprints everywhere. This one looks good. I don't see any issues yet. We'll keep taking it apart, but no dust in the fan. You know, the, oops, the back part looks good as well. So. 
I'm pretty certain they replaced the screen here, but it appears they didn't leave a trace. So now taking off this metal piece here, and at first glance, everything looks good here. You've got your, your battery right here. You've got your uh, your fan and some, some heat pipes right there. You've got your little putty that's still there. And just looking at everything, it's all clean, all looks good. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe they did not replace the board or replace the screen, but it sure did look like they did. So I actually just went back and watched the Switch unboxing just to make sure that the Switch did not come with a screen film like this one did, and it, it did not, so they definitely replaced the screen. So the more and more I think about this Switch, the more and more everything becomes a mystery because there's so many things that are like good and so many things that are just like weird and they just like don't align very well. But uh, here's something I figured out that, well, I think I figured out, I don't, who knows what's right, but let's go ahead and let me zoom in here and show you. All right, so the theory here is that they switched out the screen, right? So let me show you something. Uh, now we have a ribbon cable here, and I believe this ribbon cable, from watching a bunch of videos, I believe this ribbon cable goes to the digitizer on the front, which is the, the glass screen on the front. And in the videos I've seen, the, the OEM screen has some white lettering on this ribbon cable, but this one does not. So I think that indicates that this is a third party, you know, replacement screen that they put in here, uh, which would kind of make sense considering the fact that the, uh, the screen is a, a very cool screen, which matches up the last replacement screen I've seen. And it also, um, it also had that screen film on, on it. So I'm like, I'd say, I don't know, 85% sure the screen's been replaced, but everything just doesn't match up because this console was called used and not refurbished. And this, I've seen the specific seller and I've seen their listings and they call refurbished stuff refurbished. So like, why would they not call this refurbished? And then the fact that they don't tell me what comes with it and like, I don't, it looks perfect though. Like all the accessories look perfect. So like, why would they need to replace this, the digitizer or the LCD screen? I, I don't know. Uh, it's just weird stuff all around. But I guess despite the fact that this switch actually turned out good, it's still just, it's mysterious, suspicious. Like weird stuff happens on Wish and I don't understand. Like I don't, nothing aligns. It's just weird. So let me know down below what you guys think. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.